hello. Uh, uh, today we're trying to process some light bunker oil. So it's not a uh, used engine oil, it's a uh, normal fuel, but not probably that suitable for diesel. So we're trying to make it a little bit lighter, thinner. Um, here's our continuous uh, cracking machine. It's a high temperature destructive distillator. There's an old setup, a uh, few little improvements. So I don't know if it's visible or not. Is the oil we've got here, and is a source one. It's quite black. It's not that black in a plastic tube, but it's blacker. Uh, here we've got some lighter fractions coming out quite dark only because uh, I've been using it for uh, motor oil and some residue in there so, you got production speed it's quite clean a different greenish color and after treatment I'm gonna treat it with some chemicals it's gonna become almost transparent Uh, not every fraction uh, reaches the tray. Is the temperature we're running it at? 262 degrees. Now the reformer was flushed, uh, it's been quite dirty after uh, oil processing, waste oil processing, now you can see the diesel coming out almost transparent, so you can see. Here's a source oil, it's very dark. So we're pumping it through, through the system continuously, keeping the temperature. It's quite high now, 280. This tray is still flushing. It's still quite dirty inside. The lowest one. This one got just one drop only, uh, no petrol, because we're running it at cooler temperatures, no reforming as such, just cleaning and removing the carbon. Also I'm using the catalyst inside the system, so it's uh, cracking over the catalyst, and we're trying to catch up catch all the nasties just within the reformer then we're gonna clean it as well, uh, of course but we can process certain amount you can see it quite clear almost transparent It's a portable cooling system. I just switched off the fan because it's too noisy. And later we're gonna check the resulting diesel for viscosity and gravimetric pressure to make sure that it's actually fits into requirements of the diesel engine or be used as a diesel fuel. So some improvements still needs to be done. I think I need to add an extra cooler because it's coming out quite hot, steaming. 
despite of big condenser so technically it's working device can be used for processing of motor oil I personally would prefer to process some light oils like uh, automatic transmission oil or bunker, bunker oil to make a good diesel this is one of the light fractions it's not clear because reformer was used for very heavy oils very dirty ones so it's technically residue or tar mixed with fuel this one is cleaner and no petrol to get petrol we have to run at the temperatures of uh, 450 degrees Celsius we're running at about 250-300 degrees, just enough to evaporate all the bunker oil we've got. So technically, have to make sure that you've got out the same amount that you've got in. So the supply must be equal of uh, output to output. coming out very clear as you can see very transparent this one is transparent as well just steaming a bit now please note this is not a fuel leak it's a water leak I just lost the plug some, somewhere Just unscrew the plug and lost it. So water from the cooler running, dripping slowly. One more time. This is the fuel. Quite clean. The resulting one. Our result. This is what we're processing: bunker oil. So next video will be about treatment and what we're gonna get at the end of complete processing. From this to this.